Hello and welcome to a Not So Awesome Review. Today we are looking at the world of Nintendo Star Power Mario from... The, what company actually puts these out? Oh yeah, it's uh, Jack Specific, right? Right, I actually threw away the box already, so I have no way of confirming that. Pretty sure it's Jack Specific and I just hit the camera. Anyways, um, yeah, normally don't do World of Nintendo anything, but I picked this guy up for... Kind of two reasons. One, he looks amazing. Uh, it's Mario. And two, I actually do have a use for it in a future video, which will hopefully be coming out soon. Gonna be way different than anything I've done before on this channel. But, uh, yeah, I figured why not do a review on him since I have him here. I know he came out sometime this year. I know last year we had the other Star Power Mario. At least I want to say it was last year. And he was more translucent. It looked more like invisible, shimmery Mario. And this definitely looks more like Star Power Mario. He's shiny. He has this weird coating on him. It's really hard to explain. Like a glaze, shiny coating. I mean, you can see it in the the video right there. He's shimmering. He's got kind of like rainbow colors going through him, which is really awesome, by the way. Uh, I am afraid it's going to chip off because I just, I kind of get a feeling it's pretty easy to chip off. And it's fingerprint magnet, so there is that. But before we get into that, let's get into his one accessory he comes with here, which is the star, which looks awesome. Really nothing to complain about. I mean, the paint, the black paint isn't perfect. I don't know if you can tell. There's a little bit yellow going through, but otherwise, it's it's awesome. I'm glad they kept the seam on the side and didn't screw up and put it down the middle. That would have been a pretty bad screw up. Uh, it's hollow. I don't know if you can tell. It's not super light, though. But it is pretty light. I mean, it's cool. Um, definitely going to be using this for that other video that I mentioned. And anyways, Mario. I know they've released a good amount of them. There's the, I think, Ice Power Hour Mario just came out. A reissue of the original Mario came out. But maybe a different head. I'm not 100% sure. Then the original Mario. Then all the Tanooki Suit Marios. I think there was a Gold Mario at one point. I don't know. There's been a lot of Mario, but of course, it's Nintendo's big character. And, you know, this is my first, um, I guess, I don't know what scale you would put this in, but my first uh, World of Nintendo figure in the scale. I have gotten the smaller ones in the past, the 2.5 inch ones. Um, and I'm actually really impressed by the quality. I mean, it's, it's heavy. I don't, I think that's part of coding. Uh, I don't think that's the figure itself would normally be this heavy, but yeah, he is definitely, he's got some weight to him. I'm not saying he's like, oh my god, it's so, I can't lift it, but it's definitely got some weight to it. Uh, you can see the face sculpt here really quick. It's it's really reflective, really shiny. I do really like it. Um, it does look weird in some spots, like the nose has like some weird cuttings going on, or like right there on the face. You can't really see it on camera, but it's like he's got... Like, like, some places got more of this coating than other places, and it's just, like, a really weird, like, his face is stained or something, but then when you move it around, it's all shiny. It's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, but fingerprints everywhere, so that's kind of annoying. Um, articulation, he can't turn his head. I don't want to do it too much, because, I, like I said, I don't want to rub off all the stuff, especially before I use it for what I'm going to. His arm moves out that far, which is definitely not bad at all um his arm goes in that much with a single joint his wrist rotates all the way around but there is no hinge which doesn't really matter it's mario you know get him into a running pose especially in star form uh let's see if we can actually do that right now boom running pose uh you can see here like yeah there's definitely some of that coating coming off right where i bent his knee so definitely a figure that, you know, I'm not big on uh, keeping things in box, but this might be one that you might want to keep in the box just for that reason. Or maybe not pose around too much, get it in one pose and be done with it. Uh, you can see his legs move up and back, not too much, but a good amount. They come out a little bit and he has that single joint, which is unbelievably good. It's not the prettiest joint, but I mean... For a single joint, that is really good. And there's no uh, swivel at the bottom. You know, I wasn't really expecting much on articulation, but it's it's enough. It's Mario. I think it's really cool. I do like it. It looks... 
amazing. I do recommend it. Uh, currently, I did buy mine for nine bucks on uh, Amazon Prime. It was I think nine nine something. It wasn't ten. It was nine and some change because there was no tax from at least where I am. But uh, yeah, uh, World of Nintendo. My only issue with these figures is the prices and how hard they are to find. I feel like just because it's straight out Nintendo, scalpers pick them up and resell them for crazy amounts. That other Mario I was talking about, I was originally going to get him for what I want to do, but he was going for double the price and I couldn't find him anywhere and I was like, I can I really justify paying double the price for this one video I'm doing? I mean, I've already kind of put in a good amount of effort and money into it, so I didn't know if I wanted to do that. Saw this and uh, picked it up and I think it's going to work great. Uh, just for comparison, here I have the SH Figure Arts Mario, and they scale almost perfect to each other. I mean, they're like basically the exact same size. The face sculpts are almost exactly. I mean, his mouth is open, but they are very, very similar. Um, obviously, the molding around him is different. You can see his shoes are separated from his pants, and I want to say his articulation. It's funny enough, messing with it, it's a little bit more limited than his. His arm doesn't come up as much, though he does have ankle kind of movement that, eh, doesn't gonna hurt that much, and his knees do look better when they bend. But aside from that, uh, his arms, yeah, definitely the World of Nintendo one has the better arms. Uh, they go out a little bit more. His don't. Let's see if I can just... Yeah, that's kind of funny in my opinion, that the, uh, the cheaper one... You know, the arm works a little bit better, but, you know, you can tell this one is, I wouldn't say nicer, but it has a definitely a different feel in the plastic, though it's hard to tell with the glaze coating. I, I'm all, like, if, if it's the same plastic as the start, then yeah, this definitely feels a little bit more sturdier weight-wise, the shiny one. I think it's the coat that's making it a lot heavier. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my video for today. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and mini review for this. Uh, show you guys the scale comparison here. In case anybody wants a comparison with a Marvel's Legend. Uh, I figured I'd move that back. You can see he definitely is very short. Comes up to about Spider-Man's waist. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that is my review for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.